What the hell? Freaking seat's falling down on me. Well, I was trying to do that. That's when you know you're focused and zoned in. I mean, I felt it, but I really didn't give a fuck. Uh, I was zoned in on what needed to be done. But... Hopefully that doesn't happen when I'm actually doing a set. Because that could end up pretty fucking bad, if I'm being honest. Um, but anyways, what is up, everybody? I'm pretty excited because it is going to be a heavy compound inclined bench day on the Smith machine here. Um, that was still a warm-up, so I'm thinking I'm going to throw a 25 on each side, which is the equivalent of like... It might be a little over 315 if this was like a normal incline bench with a normal barbell. You know, your standard 45s. Um, Cause I think this Smith machine bar weighs like 15 pounds or something. I don't know, I'll do the math when I'm done. But yeah, we're gonna go a little heavier today. I'll probably be in the four to six rep range. And then I'll play it by this set. You know, I'm thinking at least I'll do at least a couple sets for sure. Now, whether I do three depends on how light it feels. You guys know that can vary, vary from day to day. Honestly, it really can. Yeah, we'll at least do a couple sets with three 45s and 25 on each side and uh, go from there, man. And I've remembered so far that I'm going to try after these two or three heavy sets. I'm going to try that thing like I did yesterday on leg day. Go into a failure or within one rep at least. Set the weight down. Stay in position. Stay in. Stay where I'm supposed to. Rest like five or ten seconds, and then get as many more as I can. So we're gonna try that. Um, got some triceps today too. But you guys know that I'm really just doing some maintenance work for my buys and tries. So you know, six or seven good sets that are still challenging and have me bringing the intensity and working. And that should be good for triceps. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get a 25 on each side, and I might go straight into this first set. I'll be honest; I'm still waiting for my pre-workout to kick in. I am not feeling shit from it, and I took that pre-workout like maybe it's probably been almost 30 minutes, so it should be kicking in by now, but. It's not. I, at least I'm not feeling shit. Kind of has me worried. It might be one of those days, guys. Let me do the first set, though. And uh, we'll see. We'll go from there. Oof. 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 Not too bad, if I say so myself. I will say, 
this felt like I needed to go back a little. It almost felt like I was pressing with my shoulders, you know, up. I wasn't down and my chest wasn't pulled through like you should be when you're bench pressing. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had it good enough, but it definitely needed to go back. I might even push it back a little farther. We'll try that. But yeah, man, five reps. I'll say, one thing I don't like about, I don't know, I like it, but then again, I don't like it about Smith Machine is that when you're bench pressing, you're supposed to have your shoulder blades retracted back and down so that your lats are activated, um, you know, to keep your shoulders safe and all that. Um, but when I'm using Smith Machine, and I really felt it on when I was doing flat Monday, first time ever doing flat on Smith, but even to a lesser extent, but even on this, I feel it too. It's hard for me to get full lat activation. You know what I mean? It's like I can't get it as good as I can get it when I'm doing free weight barbell bench press. Maybe it's just, like I said, it was the first time I've ever, I've ever done flat on the Smith machine for bench press. So maybe that was why. Um, I'm going to keep coming back to flat on the Smith. You know, I'll, like, I, like I said, I'll alternate it in with dumbbells and the hammer press machine over there. So maybe over time it'll get better. But if it doesn't, I might not be doing flat Smith anymore. On, like I said, on the incline, when I'm doing incline here, it is a little better. But still, I still feel better and have, like I have optimal power and just overall good, you know, optimal form when I'm doing free weight. So, yeah, I don't know. It could just be, you know, a mental thing. Who knows? But like I said, it's for sure on incline, it's, you know, barely noticeable, if that makes sense. But I do notice it, and it definitely affects my sets just a little bit. Now, if it was to the point where it was really noticeable and my form just felt wonky and way off you know i wouldn't be doing this at all you know for you know good form is one of the most important things and it should be above pretty much all else in the gym if you don't have good form you're asking for a lot of problems whether it be injuries not seeing the maximal results you can see i mean so you know you want to make sure that's good but like i said this is good enough to where it's a, it's a you know it's you got to find what kind of what you're looking for because it's a trade-off, you know. I feel more isolation when I'm using a Smith machine, but I lose a little bit of a little bit of a lat activation and drive. So I might lose a little bit of strength. But like I said, I get more isolation. At least I feel personally. So, you know, it's kind of, you know, what are you looking for? You know what I mean? You got to find that trade-off and go with whatever you feel like is going to fit you best. And that can change over time, you know. It all it's always changing in here. But, um, yeah, good first set. Um, I'll do one more for sure, like I said, and then we'll go from there. So uh, let me rest like another minute. That was fucking crazy. The seat fell down again. So I was having to push with my legs the whole time to keep myself in position doing that set. Holy shit. Really, I shouldn't be trying to brag about that. That's not the smartest thing to do. I should have just re-racked it and then tried to do it again. But clearly, there's something wrong with this bench. Cause that is the second time it's done that and I'm only two sets in yeah I don't know that was fucking that was fucking stupid really but you know what I did five again that was uh 
I don't know. I don't know, man. That was stupid, like I said. <laughs> I should have just re-racked it and, and tried to go for it again, but I was in it. I was already in the mindset and just fucking ready to do it. So in a weird way, well, I mean, it's not weird, actually. It makes sense. But because I was kind of pushing and flexing in my legs so hard to keep me in position without my ass, you know, sliding w way too far down, because that's what would have happened if I wouldn't have done that with the seat falling down. It definitely gave me a little boost because I did four, and then obviously I wanted to do five again to match the first set. And, you know, I kind of took a second at the top like I, like I normally do and really squeezed and flexed my legs and just gave it everything I had. And the fifth rep, I mean, I'll have to go back and watch, but it felt a little easier than the fourth one, actually. So... Yeah, I mean, all in all, a really good set, just not under the most ideal circumstances. But, you know, um, I'll say just do as I say, not as I do. Um, that, you know, I could admit that was not the smartest decision. Like I said, I was already fucking in it and just ready to go. So I said, fuck it. And uh, it turned out good, but that's not, you know, that's not always going to be the case. When you do stupid shit like that in the gym, um, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of luck involved with that. And I got lucky there. I can admit it. Totally admit that. You know what, though? Since I got five again, now this third set, you know, there will probably be a drop off. Let's go, to, go ahead and do a third one with this weight. I'll do a third set with this weight. And then probably back some weight down. Um, maybe just go to two and a quarter on each side instead of three and a quarter and get some higher reps, slower reps, maybe for a couple sets. I'll feel it out like I always do, but as of right now, that sounds good. Wow, I'm actually surprised I got five again. I mean, you guys could tell it was definitely much tougher, a much tougher set of five. But, yeah, I mean, those are the kind of surprises that I like. That was a good one. Good fucking surprise there. You know what? I'm happy with that. I'm actually very happy. Um, first time I went somewhat heavy on incline on anything, you know, anything like under eight reps in two or three months. And I did the math on my phone. It's totals out to be 330 pounds, I believe it was, for five on incline. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, let me take, let me get a 45 off of here. And then we'll do a couple of lighter sets, man. Fuck yeah. I was worried this day was going to be kind of shitty. Because when I took my pre-workout, well, I've already explained. I just wasn't feeling nothing, man. Like, nothing. I had no fire lit under me from that pre-workout at all. But the sets turned out to be pretty fucking good. So, yeah, man. Let's lighten the weight. Oof. 
That set kind of got pretty difficult, literally like out of nowhere. I don't know, I may have jumped into that set a little too fast, but I don't know, I was just of the mindset. I was lowering the weight. I mean, it's still not a drop set though, so that's where maybe I kind of fucked up, but I, don't know, I was lowering the weight, so I was like, I don't need to rest as long. Maybe I did though. Listen, I don't care how long or how many hours you spend in the gym. You're still going to make mistakes here and there. It's just going to happen. I wouldn't say, you know, necessarily that was a mistake. But it was just something that, in hindsight, I was like, eh, maybe an extra 30 seconds might have benefited me. But it's still a really good set. I got 12. I'm happy with it. Now, my heavy sets, definitely don't make that mistake. When you're training for, you know, a good strength set kind of your powerlifting or strongman style training you got to have optimal rest or you're kind of defeating the whole purpose if you ask me it's kind of like wiping your ass before you shit like what the fuck good is that going to do you know not very much it's not going to do very much good at all doing that so yeah if you do a heavy set and then you only rest a couple like say you do a heavy set of five like i did earlier and then you only rest like a minute and a half you're not going to be recovered in time to make the next set worth going that heavy. You might only get a couple reps at that point, two or three. Instead, rather if you rested, say add three or four minutes onto that minute and a half, you're better off doing that on the heavy sets. So, uh, but anyways, let's do one more here. Then we'll move on to triceps. <sighs> You guys saw that right on fucking cue. Seat fell down again. Luckily, we're done. So, no, no, no. I don't want to turn my music down. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're done. Five good sets. Like I said, surprisingly, the heavier sets felt pretty fucking good, man. That has me excited. So, uh, let's move on. Let's move on to some triceps. All right, triceps. It's going to be pretty simple today. Actually, I can't remember, but I think I did dumbbell skull crushes last last Thursday to start off with triceps. I honestly can't remember, but I think I did. And that's always usually a, a lot tougher of an exercise than, you know, something like this. So, and you guys know, again, triceps are kind of just at a maintenance level for me right now, along with my biceps. So we're going to keep it easy here and, uh, we'll probably spam out four sets and, uh, yeah, see, see what happens here. <sighs> 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 Sixteen reps. A little too high. I mean, for the first set, it's good. Let me grab a five-pound dumbbell. I'll slide it in somewhere right here. And then hopefully over the course of the next three sets, it'll have me around, I don't know, around 12, 
12 ish reps. Oh man. So I'm doing pretty quick rest periods here. I probably rested maybe maybe a minute and a half. It might it probably wasn't even that long. So that was actually tougher, which is good. It's what I'm shooting for. A little tougher than what I was even expecting. I did like 10, I think, and then kind of set it down. And I got two or three more, so yeah, pretty much around 12 reps. So, uh, rest in a minute and I'll do, and do another one. One more set might put me down and out for triceps. Holy shit. I'm not exaggerating. They are fucking torched right now. Whew. I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, they look all right. They feel fucking blown up and on fire, so... Let me rest like one more minute and we'll do this last one. This last one's gonna be fucking brutal. I'll be straight up and honest. But this is where, damn, almost knocked my mic off. This is where you're gonna see a lot of your growth pushing through these tough sets, tough reps, trying to go as far as you can safely with good form, of course. Um, well, not always good form. Sometimes you can throw some cheat reps to go beyond failure, but. You guys get what I'm saying. This is where the growth occurs. So uh, let's do it again here. Oh, a good set to finish on. Cheat reps were in full effect on like the final four or five reps there. I had to. I wasn't going to get them. That's fine. Totally fine. As long as the majority of your set has pretty good form, cheat reps are A-OK -okay in my book. To kind of just push beyond where you'd normally be able to get to, you know, get a little more extra reps totally fine man all right let's uh probably do peck peck deck next i haven't done that in a while we'll throw that in today <clears throat> all right we're just gonna spam out probably four sets i see myself doing four sets here 
Um, I'm going to go somewhat heavy on the first, kind of like my incline bench press session. On the first two, maybe three sets. Just depends how good the second one feels. And then on the last set or two, like I said, depending, um, I'll probably lighten it up a little bit and focus on getting a little higher reps, a little slower, and just getting a really good deep stretch. So, yeah, nothing special here, but uh, still going to get the work in. Shit. If the next two or three sets feel like that one, fuck. I wish the pec deck felt like this all the time. That was a good fucking set. Whoo. Holy shit. But I did I did put this back one farther. I normally have it right there. So I brought it back to there to get that extra, you know, little half inch to an inch range of motion stretch. And maybe, you know, that might have made that much of a difference because that did feel really good. All right. Do another one in a minute. Okay, I think, I don't know, I could change my mind very easily between now and by the time I do my next set, but I think I want to do that weight one more time, and like I said, maybe on the fourth set, I'll drop the weight a little bit, and we'll get some, a little bit higher reps, and I would say more slow and controlled, but I'm going pretty slow and controlled for, you know, how I got the machine maxed out. I'm still going pretty slow and true. <clears throat> Almost choked my gum. I'm still going pretty slow and controlled considering it's maxed out and getting like, I don't know what I do, like 11 reps there or something, 10, 11, 12, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, let's do one more with this weight. <sighs> Yeah, I only rested like a minute there, so they made that set a little tougher. Um, I only got 10 reps, so yeah, it made it a little tougher than what it might have been if, obviously, if I rested between two and three minutes instead of one. But it's still a good set, so I'm, you know, I'm happy with it. Let's, like I said, let me go down. I went up three notches. So I'll uh, do what I can on this last one. I might only rest a minute again since I did lighten the weight a little. Still not a drop set, though. Don't get confused about that. But, um, yeah, let's go in like 30 seconds.
That's all I got to say after that one. Whew. Yeah, that's good in my book. Whew, my chest is fucking feeling it, dude. Feels awesome, actually. Considering, like I said, normally I don't really feel it on the pec deck. So I'm pretty happy with how this feels at the moment. All right, let's go do some triceps real quick. All right, what is there to say here, really? Pretty much nothing you guys know triceps i've already said it one time during this workout and you guys know i'm pretty good about repeating myself but this is just maintenance work for me for my triceps just keep them where they're at not lose anything let everything else kind of catch up a little bit which I'm, i feel like i'm getting close to that but still maintenance level so probably i honestly probably just do three sets here only three instead of four uh pretty quick rest period maybe a minute and if i need it maybe all the way up to two minutes but nothing past that and yeah like i said we'll just spam out three sets here <sighs> That actually felt pretty easy. But I know the second I add a little bit of weight, it's going to feel like a ton has been added. That's what always happens. <laughs> I'll try it though. Let's just add a couple of these smaller little plates on there and I'll try another one. <sighs> 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 <laughs> well what i thought happened pretty much happened what i go from 15 reps down to nine just by adding a couple little oh huh, whatever i mean i guess that's what i want i want these sets, sets to be tough but towards the end of my workouts i don't mind getting a little bit lighter with my sets so instead of doing you know take the strength base training out of it just talk like a normal hypertrophy set for me a heavy one i like to be in that 8 to 12 rep range but toward the end i don't mind getting up to like 15 or 16 reps a heavy 15 or 16 um but i only got one more so we'll leave it here we'll do one more The 
Let's see if I can get a couple more. Oof. Oof. <laughs> yep. Literally a couple more was all I had. Triceps are done. I'll move on and do one more chest exercise. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do some posing. What's new? Okay. Same as usual. Spam out three sets here. This is all about, you know, focus on the lower chest. I'm going to bring my grip out wider than what I normally do for, you know, say a regular flat bench press or incline. It's not about power here. It's just about. Yeah, trying to get around 15 reps is where I'll probably be, give or take a rep or two less or more. And, uh, yeah, just pumping up the lower chest, trying to build it up. So, let's fucking get into it. Felt pretty good. I actually did one rep more than what I've been getting. I think it's a PR actually on this. Uh, fuck yeah, dude. That's a good sign. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to get different earbuds. These are just so ones where the wires connected, and you throw it behind your your head. That's yeah, just fucking driving me nuts. I guess my neck or my head's too big because it just it always pulls to one side or the other too far. Anyways, let's do two more sets. Wow, I lost five reps there, but that's kind of what happens whenever you only rest like a minute or just a little longer. It's kind of the whole point. Shit. All right, one more. Let's do one more. Okay, we're done, we're going to call that good, let's go around back. Alright guys, the bulk is in full effect, I can feel it, my clothes are fitting tighter, not just my workout clothes, but like the clothes I sleep in. Clothes I just wear out, which usually is just my gym clothes. Let's, let's be honest here. I don't go out much anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, bulk's in full effect. 
I feel big, which I always, you know, you know what I mean? I always feel big, um, but even more so now. And, you know, like I've, I've been saying this over the course of the bulk, you know, I'm losing a little definition, but that's just kind of what happens. That's the process of trying to get bigger. You have to accept it. And uh, I'm ex- I've accepted it. So it's tough, but it's what you got to do. Um, so, yeah, let's just, I don't know, I'm, even though I feel big, I'm feeling good right now. Chest is pumped up like crazy. Let's get into some posing. All right, we're done. Like I said before, when I'm bulking like this, you know, I'm not gonna take as much time as in my posing, just because it doesn't look as good. So, you know, you might say that's stupid or whatever, and it might be, but that's just kind of my mindset with it right now. So, uh, let's. You know what? Good workout. The heavy presses to start on incline were really fucking good. Better than I even expected. That was cool. Everything else after that, honestly, everything felt pretty good today. So, no complaints uh, today. So, let's call that good. Let's get out of here. <laughs>